Tip number one is about the Reaper's Mark and the Reaper's Bones being dangerous. Raising a Reaper's Mark will put a huge target on your back and shout to the rest of the server that you are new to the game since nobody ever uses this flag. And the Reaper's Bones emissary flags represent a crew willing to PvP, so proceed with caution. Likewise, raising both of these flags puts you on the map so other crews can track you wherever you go. Tip number two. Hourglass PvP in Season 8 is the best way to improve at naval PvP and figure out what works and what doesn't. So dive into a game and try out some new things since there's nothing to lose and everything to gain. Tip number three. Tall Tales are the main storyline and progress towards the gold curse, but it will take you a minimum of 45 hours in game. Tip number four. Voyages are not the best way to get golden reputation, but are the best way to get experience and understanding of the world. Tip number five. World events are the best methods for gold, but also the most sought after and risky. So if you take part in one of these, you can expect to be countered by another crew. Tip number six. Gold and reputation are the only tangible rewards in the game. Tip number seven. Loot is not yours until you sell it. So keep your eye on the surroundings and wits about you, as another crew may try and sneak in and take it away from you. Tip number eight. Harpoon turning is more efficient than raising your sails and hard turning your ship. So if there's a rock nearby, you're better off harpooning it and turning rather than turning your wheel and raising your sails. Tip number nine, anchor only when necessary. It can end very badly should you be attacked by an enemy and you have to spend five seconds raising your anchor as they're boarding you, spamming your ship with cannons and also potentially knocking you off of your anchor. Tip number 10, do not be afraid to sink during PVP. It will only help you improve as long as you reflect on what went wrong. Tip number 11, join my Discord and the official Discord to find people to play with and help you learn the game. The links will be in the description. Tip number 12, if you are sailing a sloop directly into the wind, keep your sails straight in front of you so you go the fastest. Putting your sails to the side will actually not give you the optimum wind, even if you're getting a tiny bit. Tip number 13, goof around and have fun. Don't rush into Pirate Legend as the game gets a little bit slower from that moment on and you must create your own fun in the game. It's like completing GTA. You do missions to level up and unlock stuff, but once you've done all of that, you've got to find your own stuff to do. Thank you to Z Guapo in my Discord for giving this tip. Tip number 14. If you see a white megalodon, kill it. It's the rarest in the game and you will probably never see this again. Tip number 15. Don't let people hate on you and make you change your weapon loadout. Use what is comfortable for you and what you do in the game. They're in the game to be used at the end of the day. Check out my PvP video on what weapon combos to use in what situations for a more in-depth guide. Tip number 16. Do not keep gunpowder kegs on your boat. Regular ones sell for nothing and most of the time will backfire and get you sunk. If you must carry them, put them in the crow's nest. Tip number 17. One chain shot will take down the mast of a galleon or a brig, whereas the sloop requires two. Tip number 18. The respawn timer scales with what ship you are on. If you're a solo sloop, you will respawn in 15 seconds from the ferry of the damned. If you are a duo sloop, you will respawn in 19 seconds. If you are on a brigantine, you will respawn in 23 seconds. And if you are on a galleon, you will respawn in 25 seconds. Tip number 19. World events scale in difficulty with the amount of people present. This means if you are a solo doing a world event, in theory it should take the same amount of time if you are a galleon. Also, this could hint to if there are more enemies around than usual, though this will take experience to figure out. Tip number 20. To achieve Pirate Legend, you must reach level 50 in three of the companies, Merchant Alliance, Reaper's Bones, Order of Souls, Gold Hoarder, or The Hunter's Call. Tip number 21. If you engage in PvP, but it turns out that you are outclassed, do not be afraid to run away and reset the fight. No matter how the enemy or community responds to this, you do not owe anyone the loot on your ship, nor do you owe anyone a fight. Thank you to Axel in my Discord for sharing this tip. Tip number 22. When you receive a hit marker for shooting an enemy, there is a high possibility that they didn't actually take damage. So if you shoot them again and they don't die, don't be surprised. This game has trouble with hit registration. Tip number 23. Before you set sail, it is good practice to stock up your ship. This can be done in many ways, but the most common is emptying all of the barrels on the outpost in which you spawn on. Tip number 24. Sea forts are one of the greatest methods to improve a PvE when you start out, as you will be in a secluded area of the map and can fight enemies while also learning how to move around a structure. Tip number 25. 
The NPC's first initial of their name are named after their profession. For example, Sue selling items at the shipwright shop, and Chris being the clothing merchant. Tip number 26. Voyage progress and ship supplies do not save once you leave the server, meaning if you are in the middle of a voyage and leave the game, the voyage is over and cannot be picked up from the place you left, and you will also have to restock your ship. Tip number 27. Take a look at the keybind settings and set the most important ones to something easily accessible. For example, on PC, I have wood bound to V, fruit bound to 3, bucket bound to B. These are all some of the most important keybinds, and I will be using these many times throughout a session. The second spent finding what you need on your radial can be the difference between sinking and staying alive. Tip number 28. Games are played to pass time and have fun. If you aren't having fun, then don't be afraid to quit and play something else. This game can be infuriating sometimes, so don't let anybody make you feel like you have to keep playing or doing something that you are not enjoying. If you try to keep playing while upset, you'll just burn yourself out from the game even faster. Thank you to Froggy in my Discord for this tip. I couldn't have said it any better myself. Tip number 29. On every ship, there is a set of roles. The helmsman, the bilge, the cannoneer, and the boarder. The helmsman being the person steering the ship. The bilge being the person who focuses on repairs, bucketing, and adjusting sails. The cannoneer being the person who focuses on shooting the enemy and helping out with buckets when necessary. And the boarder being a second cannoneer who also shoots off to the enemies to try and apply pressure. Try each one out to find which one you enjoy the most though helming will be the hardest in the beginning since you are adjusting to the mechanics of the game. Tip number 30. Instead of carrying loot to your boat, utilize the harpoon. Put all of your loot in one spot and harpoon it onto your ship. It will save you a lot of time and potentially save you from being attacked. Now for some quick fire tips. Put your FOV up to 90, you can see more and the game will feel smoother. Cosmetics do not change the weapon's damage. A lot of the nicer cosmetics require millions of gold and commendations to be completed, so spend your gold and time wisely. Don't put so much pressure on getting gold. Just have fun and you won't get burnt out. Skeleton ship world events are great for learning water management and fighting different sized ships, and also learning the helm. Watch all of my tip videos as they are all specifically designed to help you in certain aspects of the game, and they are all very coherently produced. Solo slooping is really hard, but it also allows you to explore and grow on your own. Don't trust everybody you run into, being deceptive is part of being a pirate. You can form alliances with other boats and receive a portion of their earnings, but often this is another deceptive method for someone to keep track of you and steal your loot. Tier 3 holes should always be prioritized over Tier 1, as they let in the most amount of water. If a Megalodon has spawned on you and you can't be bothered to kill it, sail towards the nearest island and it will despawn. You can put out the fire on your canvas with water from below on the sloop. Do not leave a chest of rage or sorrows unattended on your boat, or you may come back to being sunk. You can sell emissary flags to the Reaper skeleton at any outpost. Do not leave your lanterns on, as you will stand out from very far away, and also stay away from glowing ship sails and hulls for the same reason. If you wear the Reaper's pyjamas, you will be bullied. To keep your voyage but change servers, you can scuttle ship and change seas in the scuttle menu. If you sink a ship, look for flying birds in the air. This will indicate where their ship went down. You can track the storm on Merfolk's lullaby to plan your journey. And finally, to check your map quickly, look through the grate on a brig and a galleon, and over the banner on a sloop. If any of these tips were interesting or helpful to you, please subscribe and leave a like. It helps me out more than you can imagine, and it only takes a second. Thank you.